Praise is such a powerful weapon. But many believers have not come to discover how powerful the weapon of praise is. Every time you get to a point in your life where you don't know what else to do about any issue in your life, according to scriptures, praise is what to do. It looks, therefore, as the last straw ordained to break every camel's back. When you don't know what else to do about any issues in your life, praise is what to do. Because only what can resist God can resist the power of praise. Can I hear your amen? In Second Chronicles chapter 20, and verse 12. On this covenant day of career and business breakthrough, the end has come to every form of stagnation and frustration in your pursuit in life. Every time you get to a point where you don't know what else to do, praise is what to do. Let's hear what Joshua said in his prayers. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 12. He said here, O our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that has risen against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are on you to know what to do. Our eyes are on you to know what to do. We have no might against this great company that has risen against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are waiting on you to know what to do. And then he came up in verse 17. He said, You will not need to fight in this battle because you have no might against it. Set yourselves in praise. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah. You can't fight it. Transfer it to me. Through the medium of praise. You can't fight this. You also have said it. But you can transfer it to me and I will deal with it. And through the medium of praise, that huge harassment was turned to a testimony. There is someone here you are facing, you are faced with certain embarrassing things in your career, in your business. But through the medium of praise, your God will take over. And when your God takes over, it shall be over. Where you are, just lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I'm transferring the battles of my life to you through the mystery of praise. Today, let my praise be acceptable to you. For I have no power or might to win this battle. But my eyes are on you. And right now, I see my battles transfer to you through the weapon of praise for a change of story. Now, they got that instruction well. And in verse 22, 
And as they began to sing and to praise, God, the man of war, the Lord of hosts, took over their battle. Amen. And came against the children of Moab, of Mansia, and Ammon, and discomfited them, and they were smitten. And the Bible said in verse 24, and not one of them escaped. Every siege against your life, against your career, against your business, uh, is giving way today. As they began to sing, now you see they had prayed for three days, yet the harassment was in place. We prayed and fasted for 21 days, and perhaps the things are still tearing you in the face. And God said, okay, now transfer it to me. I'll deal with it. And when God stepped in, the siege was over. Now, the good news today is this. Every siege against any aspect of your life, your spiritual life, your social life, your career, and your business, whatever represents a siege of the wicked one, in any area of your life must give way finally today. The Lord sent a word unto Jacob and it lighted upon the whole of Israel. Just one word gaining entrance into your spirit man showing you this is it. This is what is missing. This is the last thing. This is the last thing that must give way. And this is what will make it give way. And you get it there. Then the battle is over. You have complained enough. It has only complicated your matter. Now celebrate God. This is the time to celebrate God. He said, although the fig tree shall not blossom, there might not be fruit in the vine, the fruit of the olive, my faith. But I will rejoice in the Lord. I will join the God of my salvation. He will make my feet like hands feet. And it will cause me to ride upon my high places. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 17 to 19. We must understand the rules of the game of breakthrough. It only answers to genuine celebration of God in spite of the circumstances that might be around you. It answers only to a genuine celebration of God in spite of the circumstances that might be around you. Therefore... I know that today something must turn in somebody's life. Something must turn in somebody's life. Something must turn in somebody's life. That looks like you let me hear your loudest amen. Say with me, something is turning already in my life. Say it convincingly. You know what? Today will be a day you will remember forever. 